Hello again! In this video, we are going to set up our project that we will use throughout this tutorial series to create the tool for generating a 2D procedural dungeon. So, we are going to use Unity Hub to create a new project, so let's select New. I will be using Unity 2020.1.14, but it shouldn't really matter. Uh, what is important is that we are going to choose 2D preset since it comes with pre-installed tools or packages for the 2D development. You can of course use Unity Universal Pipeline for this project, doesn't really matter. I'm going to select a 2D, be sure to give it a name and create the project. Great! Now in the description of this video you should see a link to a GitHub repository. If you click it you should reach the repository for this tutorial. There should be the starter project assets that contains the tile map for this project and I will post here the scripts for our project and also packages for each video so that you can follow along. If you get lost you can use those to get back on track. So simply download this uh, starter package, so click it, download and import it into your project. Great! Now when you import the package it contains the tile set that we are going to use for this tutorial and it contains the tile palettes as well as tiles that I have uh, named appropriately since we are going to use those to visualize our dungeon. So let's import it into our project and we should be good to go. If you take a look into the sprites folder, you should see the dungeon uh, folder and here should be the tile set. This is a tile map from the Pixel Poem content creator. I will post a link to this asset in the description of the video. Now we will have to make sure that we have our sprite editor and tile maps installed. For the 2D preset uh, Unity project, it should be installed. If you are using URP pipeline, you can go to window to package manager. It should open you a new window. After it finishes fetching packages, go to Unity registry in the top left corner of this package manager. And we need to check if we have sprite. And we should have 2D sprite installed. And we should also have tile map. And we should have 2D tile map editor installed as well to proceed with this tutorial. Okay, let's close the package manager. Now let's take a look at the assets. If we select our assets folder, uh, underscore sprites, dungeon and character and tile set, we have our dungeon underscore tile set. In the inspector we should have sprite editor. It should open us a new window of sprite editor. I have already split this tile map into tiles. As you can see, what I believe it is called it is an axiometric projection. So all it means is that we have different tiles uh, for different walls. So our top wall is different from the bottom wall and our right wall from the left wall. And in addition to that, we also have different corners for different situations. So this will be a bit of work uh, to make sure that we visualize our walls correctly. But we will get to it at the end of this tutorial. Let's close the sprite editor. And in the tiles folder in assets, you should have tiles folder again. And here is the floor tile that I've created and wall tiles. And I have given them appropriate names because we will have multiple wall tiles assignable to our script for visualizing the walls. So we will need to make sure that we know which tile we are assigning to which field. Uh, so this is why I have already pre-created those tiles with appropriate names so we do not waste time for it. Now there is one more setting that we will want to set before we start this project. Here we are with the end version of this project. And if we zoom in, we can see that some tiles have so those kind of artifacts, graphical artifacts. And this is because we have anti-aliasing enabled in our quality settings. So let's go to our project. And here, again, we are going to go to the top menu, edit, and select the project settings which should open us a new tab. In here, on the left, we should select the quality. And here we should have a setting for our anti-aliasing. Make sure that you select it to be disabled because anti-aliasing tries to smooth edges and it takes additional pixels 
from nearby tiles from our tile map and this will create those artifacts. So if we have this disabled, we will not have it in our project. Okay, with this done, we should be good to go. In the next video, we are going to start creating our random walk algorithm and creating our first dungeon. If you are enjoying this tutorial, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, it really helps me to see if the content that I create is engaging. Also, if you have any questions, make sure that you post them in the comment section and I will do my best to answer them. See you in the next video.